Six year old shot his teacher, bro. I mean, he meant to do that. I mean, this little nigga was aiming to kill. Like, this little nigga on that type of time, bro. Like, that's what crazy shit. I am like my. My brother, we ride together. If he shoot a shot, we gon' die together. If we lose a guy, we gon' cry together. Then hop in and whip and we slide. YouTube, what's going? It's your boy Keith, you know what I'm saying? Back out another reaction video, man. You feel? Been a little minute. I'm sorry. I know, I'm sorry. I've been reacting to videos on my gaming channel, so go subscribe to my gaming channel, Key Game. I've been trying to tell y'all, folks, wherever you at, if you tap on the end of my content, I've been trying to tell y'all, folks, bro. I am everywhere right now. I'm everywhere. You see? I got the Key Vlogs going. I got the Key Gaming going. I got React with Key going. And I got the music channel Key going, bro. So I'm everywhere, bro, you gotta go tap in, bro. You can't be, you can't be lot of gagging, bro. You want to see me? You want to see the content, bro? You gotta go subscribe. You gotta hit the notification bell on everything, bro, so you can get all the fucking videos. Every video that drop, you feel me? I'm trying to help y'all, folks. Stay tuned with your butt. You did? But go check out my tape key. I'm different on all platforms. If you haven't heard it already, man, you know what I'm saying? The light thugger is going up. It's doing a little decent little numbers, you feel me, on my streaming platform. So, yeah, go check out the tape, you feel me? What? Nah, for real, though, go subscribe to Key Gaming. That's probably the most active channel I be on. Like, I ain't even gonna talk to y'all. I really be on my Key Gaming channel, bro. I be on the GTRP. We be on 2K sometimes. I've been playing a lot of Madden lately, you know what I'm saying? Nigga cannot. I'm telling you, I get any good running back, I'm coming out the hole. <laughs> it's over with, I'm telling you. So, if you wanna play me, bro, my PSN, I put it on the screen, bro. You can come play me on Madden. Just hit me in my, uh, what you call it, my, uh, PlayStation messages. Or, you can comment on the video. You can play me in Madden. You can play me in 2K. It don't matter, bro. You know what I'm saying? We can probably do a video. I'll probably put it on the channel. Just up the hour, bro. So, come tap in. Like I said, I'm gonna put my PSN on the screen, bro. So, go add me on PlayStation 5 right now. So, we can play. You feel me? But, yeah, man. Just tap in all the content, man. Without further ado, man, it's your boy, Keith. Get into the video. Got a teacher inside a Newport News Elementary School. I'm Bill Fitzgerald. I'm Cheryl Miller. We have complete coverage of this developing story for you. We begin with our crime insider, John Burkett, who is in Newport News. John? Six year old shot his teacher, bro. That's some shit you gotta really question, bro. What did she do to make him shoot her? Well, Cheryl, what was chaotic here about four hours ago is now calm. The chief of police just leaving this area off of Tyner Road at the Rich Creek Elementary School about 2 o'clock this afternoon. What we do know is they were called for an active shooter situation here at the elementary school. It appeared that at that time a student shot a teacher inside the classroom. The chief of police confirming that late tonight that a six-year-old boy intentionally shot his teacher inside that classroom. She is critically... That nigga said intentionally. That mean he meant to do that. That mean this little nigga was aiming to kill. Like this little nigga was... On that type of timing, bro. You stepping like that, young fella, at six years old, bro. Yeah, yeah, Michael Myers. They didn't put your ass, man. Put you somewhere far away, boy. And no way in hell you stepping like that. Six years old, you stepping like that. Intentionally shot his teacher inside that classroom. She is critically wounded and at a local hospital with life-threatening injuries. Their investigation, of course, is in its early stages. Uh, he briefed us a short time ago, telling us that he is uh, thankful for the parents that came here and showed up on scene. While it seemed frustrating and chaotic, they did a good job. Of yep, it was a black kid. That's all I had to see. She know him some kind of way. Up on scene, while it seemed frustrating and chaotic. Yeah, she know him some kind of look. Look at the frustration on her face. You got white people. Of course, it's a white teacher. No disrespect and no offense. And you got a black lady on the phone and she looks drained. You got her, she like she don't want to be there. But she there probably in support of her. She look like the mama of her. They like the little cousin. Their little brother Joe right here. Their aunt back there, a big brother. This a black little boy. They did a good job of filing in line and getting their students by grades, picking them up, and then the buses rolled. Maybe I'm being a little scared too. Because there's a lot of people here. Then just about an hour ago and picked up the rest of the students that were left here <laughs> at the scene. Let's so a very chaotic that. scene, intense scene here this afternoon is now calmed down. Again, the chief of police, Steve Drew, has left this area. He did, did brief our cameras a little while ago. We may have that sound a few minutes from now. We do have the SOT, so let me roll what, uh, what uh, the chief of police, Steve Drew, said. The altercation was between a six-year-old, the, the student uh, who did have the firearm, and the teacher, and then a round was fired. 
Um, like I said, she suffered a, a gunshot wound and has been transported to the hospital. This was not an accidental shoot. But hey, bro, although it's not an accident, bro, don't hate the little fella, bro. God damn, bro. He's six years old. He knew what he was doing, but he's still six. That brain is not fully developed, bro. But damn, bro, you six years old stepping like that. You heard it there. It's not an accidental shooting. And that is what's shocking among parents here as you saw them coming to pick up their kids, tears streaming down from their faces. Our Maggie Marshall caught up with some of those parents. She has their information tonight. Hey, John, well, pickup here is complete. And like you said, it has been just so emotional for both these parents, but also these little ones that were here today. I spoke to many parents who say that their mind just immediately went to anxiety and worry, wondering if their students were the ones hurt in this shooting. One parent I spoke to called the entire situation just devastating. She says her anxiety went through the roof the second she heard that there was a shooting. She said she raced to the school as quick as she could and she described that the school was just chaos when she got there because all of the parents were just trying to get their kids and just trying to figure out um, if their kids were safe. She said she had tears in her eyes when she finally got to reunite with her kids. Man, don't be saying all the extra. Come on, bro. Trying to add all the extra. You probably were, though. You feel me? This is a, a, a this is not a coincidence. This, this, this is a, a pretty, pretty, like, rough story right here. Like, there's no way. You know what I'm saying? But stuff like this do be happening, bro. So, you, you know, I'm not mind blown, but dang, bro, like, the year just started, you know? It was really Why devastating and me not knowing exactly what the situation was. And when he came out of that school, that was the best thing that I could have ever seen. Tonight, these parents tell me they're just going to be loving on their kids extra as they try to make sense of what happened, as they try to cope and just even understand what they went through today here at school. The superintendent of the schools says this school in particular will be closed on Monday. Live in Newport News, I'm Maggie Marshall, CBS 6 News. Damn, bro. I ain't finna say free love, bro. But damn, bro, you need some real discipline. You need some real discipline, bro. I imagine going to go pick up my child. Uh, just imagine having a six-year-old and he already thinking about killing somebody. But that's some crazy shit, right? Uh, my God. Yeah, that's some crazy shit, my God. It's been your boy, Key, bro. I ain't finna hold y'all too much longer, bro. Y'all tell me how y'all feel about this, bro. Uh, I, I wish, you know, the teacher a safe recovery. Like, as mature as I can say that, I really do wish her a safe recovery. Because this is a tragedy. This is a... a, a situation that could have turned to the worst like this already bad enough but just think of like just think if this lady would have died bro this story would have been so much more crazy bro this lady would have died bro it would have been crazy bro leave a like on the video man it's been your boy key man and i'm out bro peace